so. Okay. Hello, my name is Allie Merrill, and today I'm doing this look, which is a look using the Sugar Pill and Trixie Mattel palette, Oh Honey. This is the palette that they created together. It's such a great palette. These are the shades. It's super duper pretty and super duper pigmented. And I'm sorry, my palette's a little bit beaten up, but it's a great palette. And it also comes with a Trixie Mattel exclusive Oh Honey liquid lipstick, which is what I'm wearing right now on my lips. So if you want to see how I created this Oh Honey look, then keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with my Maybelline Master Prime Concealer, not concealer, primer. And I'm just going to put that all over my eyes and just rub that bad boy in. Then I'm just going to take like a packing brush. This one's from like the Naked Heat palette. And I'm going to take, oh honey, of course, and I'm going to take the shade Life Size. Now this is technically the blush, but Trixie herself has said that it could be used as eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take that, pack it on the brush, and then just pack it on my eye, just on the outer corner. And I'm gonna kinda wing it out a little bit and then pull it in. I'm gonna go like pretty much all over my eye with this because I am gonna be using like other colors in the inner corner, but I wanna make sure that I get this all over the eye first. And I'm gonna kinda bring this down a bit more I want to make sure I'm able to cut it with concealer later. So usually people would just use tape. I, however, am an innovator and prefer to do things easier. So I'm just going to make it look sh now and fix it later. <laughs> I'm just packing that all over my eye to make sure that I get that like hella pigmented color. This is a deceptively easy look. It looks hard because it's such like a bright pink and such like an intense color but it's pretty easy i love this pink so much it's so bright i love how bubble gum this color is you can really tell that trixie made this palette because it was like all the colors that are needed to make a trixie look just spending a lot of time working in this color to my eyelid all right now that i look like i probably would pepto bismol i'm going to I'm gonna do my foundation now. So I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. I'm just gonna put like a little dollop on my hand. I'm gonna take this on a Real Technique sculpting brush. I'm just pulling this all over my face and then make sure I get it down my neck too. Now I'm gonna do concealer. I'm technically not done with my eyes yet. I want to finish my eyes once I have my concealer on, so I'm going to do that now. So I'm just going to take my Sephora Gel Serum Concealer in the shade Fondant, and I'm going to put that under my eyes. And then in a line on my nose, right here, the redness under my nose, and then any blemishes that I might have. And then with my... Oops, and then with my beautiful brand new super clean beauty blender, just gonna blend that in. And I'm gonna make sure that I wanna keep it like straight on the nose as I go up and down so I can blend it in like one line on my nose. Get that tricksy nose highlight. And I'm gonna pull my concealer around towards my eye and just use my beauty blender to like swipe up on that eyeshadow so we get a pretty cut look. And then I'm just going to blend in the top of that with my middle finger just to make sure that that pink is pretty blended out at the top up there. Now before any of that creases, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, the best powder in the whole wide world, and just tap some of that into the lid. And then with my Real Technique setting brush, I'm just going to brush that all over my face. All right, now on just like a small packing brush, this is from like the Naked 2 palette. I'm gonna use the shade Oh Honey and the shade Dolly and I'm gonna mix them together. And I'm just gonna put that in like the inner corner of my lid. I'm gonna take more of Oh Honey than Dolly and I'm just gonna place that right in here. And I'm gonna blend it out with my fingers just a little bit, but you want that color really concentrated in the inner corner there. And then I'm just gonna bring it under my eyes right here. I'm gonna put a little bit more of Dolly on there. All right, now that I've done that, I'm gonna take the same exact packing brush and I'm gonna pile life size onto like the tip of it and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eye. 
Just pull it all the way across and then blend it together with the other white that we've added. And now I'm gonna do my mascara. So for my mascara, I'm gonna take my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and I'm just gonna pile that on my lashes. And then just a little bit on my lower lashes as well. Okay, now that I finished my mascara, I'm gonna do my brows. So I'm just using an e.l.f. brow pencil and brown. I'm just gonna brush through them real quick. I like doing like a straight line along the bottom. So I have like a road map and then kind of feathering it out on the top and then lightly filling in the front. And then I just make sure I blend most of that out. Now I'm gonna take my Milk Makeup Kush <laughs> Brow Gel in Dutch and I'm just gonna tease and tame my brows as my friend who works at Benefit would say. Which just means that you like brush those hairs up with the brow gel and then brush across. And there you go. Tease and tame. Brows done! Okay, now I'm gonna take my Becca Cosmetics. I think this is like Sunlit Bronzer in Capri Coast. I'm just gonna put this in like the hollows of my cheeks and then just kind of pull it up so it goes in kind of like a triangle shape but I'm mostly just kind of rounding it. A bit trixie esque some might say. And then I don't have that much of like a forehead because my M-shaped widow's peak is along my temples. And then I'm gonna take bronzer and I kind of like fan the brush and just pull it up the sides of my nose and the bottom and then pull it across the top. I learned this from Rihanna you bring the bronzer along your jawline and down the like hollows of your neck. So you can blend out your bronzer with your neck, but also contour your neck a little bit. She's so smart, I love her. Then on a Real Techniques blush brush, I'm just gonna take the shade from Oh Honey, life size, yet again, and I'm just gonna put that on like right here of my cheek and just kind of pull it back towards my temple. And this is a really heavily pigmented blush, so you gotta like know exactly where you're going when you go go in and then I'm just gonna kind of blend it out a little bit with my beauty blender just to get it looking a bit less intense and now on an Anastasia blending and now on an Anastasia highlighter brush I'm gonna take the Becca highlighter in the shade Moonstone and I'm just gonna pop that on my cheekbones on the bridge of my nose on the tip of my nose, my cupid bow. I'm gonna take that little flat brush again and I'm just gonna put a bit of this as highlight underneath my brows and I'm gonna link it up with the highlight that we did on the cheekbone too. Now that I've done my face and my eyes, it's time for the lips. So I'm gonna take Trixie Mattel's lipstick in the shade Barbara. It's like a really hot pink matte to sparkle shade. It's so pretty. And I'm just gonna put this all over my lips. And that would be the finished look. finished look. I'm sorry the lighting has changed so much throughout the course of the video. I started filming at like 2.30 and now it's golden hour. So doing great. I hope you like this video and this look. If you recreate it, let me know and send me pictures and stuff. And if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, or subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much to Trixie Mattel and Sugar Pill for making such a great palette. These are all the colors. It's limited edition, so it's probably out of stock by now. I'm so sorry. But it's a great palette. Be sure to go support Sugar Pill. They make a lot of great other products that are super pigmented and really, really great quality. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a pleasant rest of your day. Bye!